Hello. So I want to ask you 35 questions since you turned 35. Uh -huh. And we want to see, I don't know, let's see where it goes. <laughs> Does it feel any different um, from two days ago, now that you're 35? Um, the only thing that's different is now I feel more empowered to tell someone, hey, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. <laughs> if you could go back and talk to your 15-year-old self. 15? Yes, so that's like 20 years ago. Yikes. What would you tell that person, knowing uh, what you know now? <laughs> Oh yeah, knowing what I know now, <clears throat> I would probably tell him not to take school that seriously. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Did he take school that seriously? Like, I... Yes, I, I took school very because I believe that if you do well in school, you will mm -hmm. get a good job and you will be rich. Okay. I did not know that it's a lie. Okay. Yay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Between beef? Chicken, fish, and pork. One has to go. Which one? Ah, uh, that's easy. Beef. Beef. I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. So. Okay. Mm. Understandable. Why does your hair always look fresh? Why does my hair always look fresh? Yes. It's the jeans, man. <laughs> I must thank my mom and my dad. Like you know, ah, it's a gift. It's yeah. like. I, I can't turn it off. What happened to your nose? Ah, uh, <laughs> fire. Fire happened. Fire. Is that, are we going to get any context? Ah, uh, I was lighting something. And, and a flame. Mm -hmm. A flame hit me. That's... That's all you're willing to That's say. all I'm telling you about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, what's the one spot in the world you love to use before you die? Let's see. Ah. How long do you like just going on with it? I guess, and this is weird, I think Disneyland. Yeah? And I think it's only because um, I think amusement parks look very cool. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a lot of candy and food, and everyone is happy there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would want to go there because I'm 100% certain everyone is happy, apart from the staff, but the staff have to fake being happy, and that's okay. <laughs> if you were given an elephant, and you couldn't get rid of it, what would you do with it? And I couldn't get rid of it? Yes. Um, start small. I'd start a circus. And once I'm big and rich, I'd tell people, I started with just one elephant. And now look, yeah. There's money in elephant rides. What? <laughs> if you, what part of the human face is your favorite? I want to say teeth. Why teeth? Because I like when when teeth are nice and white and not broken. It's always, it's a, I think it's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah. Mm. Like my teeth. Like your teeth. <laughs> Unlike mine. So, sigh. Had a crush on an animated character. I f yes, Which yes. One? Helga Pitaki mm -hmm. from Hey Arnold. Which is weird because even the character, I don't think she's she's meant to be a pretty girl or something of the sort. I just I liked her attitude. Mm -hmm. Helga Pitaki. I can't believe I even remember her full name. Perfect teeth or perfect hair? Perfect teeth. Lust or love? Love. Abs or chest? Hmm. Uh, abs. Yeah. People watching? Absolutely. Can you come up with a story about them? I come up with a lot of stories when I people watch. Yes, it's the best. What set of items? Could you buy that would make the cashier the most uncomfortable? Mm, I that would make them uncomfortable. I guess yeah. buying too many, 
too many condoms like if you buy like six packs of them mm -hmm. and then be like oh shit those are six i need one more yeah <laughs> i've been thinking of starting a cult what kind of cult should we start together uh, a cult for people who love cats and fries yeah so so, when, so i would be out of the cult because i don't like fries no but you you would be like the person who's will convert you <laughs> and then you'll be a test you'll be the person giving testimonies every sunday saying i never used to love fries and now mm -hmm. it's my jam what yes. animal most closely resembles you in terms of behavior i want to believe mm -hmm. um i would say i would say what's that animal with the thing with the big ass, the big ass, the one that does the this peacock. peacock. Yes. <laughs> yes, because peacocks are very, very dope, and I think I'm very, very dope. What's your biggest turn on? Biggest turn on? Yeah. Um, I think, I think well, well groomed, like well made up. And dressing dressed well. Okay. None of that makes sense. Yeah. Who but was the last person you cyber stalked? Oof. Um. Uh, a bunch of people. But I think I checked out an actor called Melvin, and it's because I wanted to find out whether he was doing something. Yeah, I was jealous of a project she's doing actually, so I wanted to find out. Is it easier to hate or love? I think it is much easier to love because mm -hmm. if when you hate, hating requires you to take a lot of thought and to break things down, overthink things, to uh, validate, I think is the word, to validate the hate, so mm -hmm. it's much easier to love. Okay. When you think of home, what do you think of? Oh, home, uh, quiet, quiet, peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you were a woman for a day, Ooh. what would be the first thing you do? <laughs> uh, try out bras, <laughs> different kind of bras, just as be like, oh. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and also try to see if I can get away with Favors. Favors? Like, I'd smile at guys and be like, yo, can you do this thing for me, please? They'd probably say, yeah. What's the coolest fact about the universe you know? The coolest fact about the universe? Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty cool that roaches can survive anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, I recently found out that ants were around during dinosaur times mm -hmm. and they're still here. So I think it's very cool that ants are the real OGs of planet Earth. They don't get their props enough. Shout outs to ants. You're a force. In one word, what do you live for? Expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's something I live for. Expression. Because everyone should express themselves however they feel. Whichever way they feel, as long as it's legal. One thing before you die, what would it be? Open an acting school. Yeah. Yes, a drama school. I think drama school sounds cooler than acting school. But the same thing. Yeah. What is the funniest line, pickup line you could ever use? Um, I think you and I can make a unique couple because you plus me, Nick, equals unique. <laughs> it's corny, but it worked once. It worked? It w uh, sort of. Well, not really. No, yeah. it didn't. It didn't work? It didn't. No. What is the one thing you would really like to own? Really like to own? Yes. Uh, um, I... I think I would really like to own a house. A house? 
Yeah, a house. A mansion. That's a difference. I would like to own a mansion. Yeah. Which is the most interesting place you've ever visited? Most interesting place I've ever visited. Um, what was that place we went to? Okay. Watamu. Yeah. Watamu, Watamu. Mm -hmm. That was it. Was very because of the weather. Mm -hmm. The weather was great. I like the laid back attitude. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what's your personal heaven? My personal heaven. Yeah. Anywhere with weed. <laughs> Uh, when did your life change for the better? The if it day, did. Like, my life changed for the better? Mm -hmm. The day... The day... Yes, the day you decided to move in. Oh. Yes. Okay, that's cute. When you're scrolling through social media, do you prefer posts from celebrities or from people you know? From people I know. Because I at least I feel like they I can reach them and it's nice to see people I know doing stuff. If you could only speak one word today, what would you say? Confidence. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever overheard a conversation you weren't supposed to? And what was it about? I once overheard a conversation about someone who was rather I think the guy had hit the woman because mm -hmm. the woman was saying you, you need to stop hitting me. That's what you need to stop doing. Mm -hmm. And then I remember that she made me turn and then the, the, the guy turned to look at me and I pretended I was trying to call someone. <laughs> but I love eavesdropping in conversations. It's beautiful. Would you ever join a mission to colonize another planet if it meant never returning to Earth? Ah, oh, if it meant never returning to Earth, yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> do it like the white people did. <laughs> Are you ready he is for... Happy. Our last round? Yes. What's the best 100 bob you've ever spent? Best 100 bob I've ever spent? Yeah. Like what I spent it on? Yes. Um, there was a time I spent 100 bob on samosas, the 20 shilling ones. Mm -hmm. So I got three of those and then I was left with 40 bob which I got two boiled eggs. Suffice to say, it was a very satisfying meal. I, will, I, I didn't feel bad about using that 100 bob like that. Yeah? Yeah. What's the one thing that always makes you laugh? Cartoons. What was your best drop the mic moment? Oh, um, recently, um, there was a whole, there was a huge, thing, scandal thing that happened in um, at my workplace and I was one of the people who, well rather, okay long story short, bosses can try to make you feel like you don't, like you're not working hard. Mm -hmm. They do, I think they do that intentionally. So what I had with me was proof that not only am I a hard worker but my work is actually very commendable mm -hmm. and he I, I, I think he didn't think he would have that i would have those mm -hmm. receipts and yeah you happen to have them i happen to have them and i told him yes and you can double check on yeah. email so uh, yeah on email mm -hmm. okay that's what i do man okay i think that was my last question do you have a question for me why are you so good looking <laughs> um, that's simple actually because I drink my water so I hydrate, that's I important. mind my business and I wear my sunscreen. That's very, what's very up. simple. That's what's Especially up. minding my business. It's like the best thing that you can do for your for yourself. Yeah. It makes your skin glow. Yay. Uh -huh. So hey, that was 35 questions with Nick. Who just turned 35? I'm Nick, by the way. That's what's up. Thanks for watching it. Um, be sure to subscribe. Drop a comment below. It's important. And uh, yes, come back here for more stuff that will be popping tomorrow. Peace in the Middle East and everywhere else in between. Say bye, Ginge. Ginge.
thank you. He turned. I'll take it. Yeah.